Workers' compensation. If you have an employee, you have to have it. End of story. Every week, I look through the Rochester Business Journal, and under the judgment sections, I can always count on there being eight to 10 judgments filed in favor of the New York State Workers' Compensation Insurance Board against employers that fail to obtain or maintain workers' compensation insurance on their employees. The average judgment that I see is $21,000. Yikes. Uh, it doesn't matter if your employee is part-time, full-time, seasonal, or a day laborer, you are required to carry workers' compensation insurance, disability, and paid family leave uh, on that person. And I can guarantee you that it is more cost-effective and easier uh, just to obtain the proper insurance and to deal with a judgment from the Workers' Compensation Insurance Board. My guess is that some of these judgments are the result of an employer trying to classify someone as an independent contractor when they are really an employee. Uh, the Workers' Compensation Board considers the following factors when determining if, whether someone is an independent contractor or an employee. They look at if the person is free uh, from the direction or control of that employer. So it basically says you are not allowed to tell the person how to do the job, only the desired result that you want. Uh, if the person has their own federal identification number, if they maintain their own business establishment, uh, if they perform work different from the hiring business and works for other businesses. So think of a barber who hires an accountant to do their books and taxes for them. That accountant doesn't cut hair uh, and then they can work for that barber, uh, but then they can also have other clients that they do the books for as well. Uh, the person is in a position to succeed or fail if their expenses are greater than their income. Uh, if they have their own liability insurance, if that person has their own recurring business expenses, uh, if they advertise their own business, uh, if they provide all their own equipment and materials necessary to fulfill their contract, uh, or if they work under their own operating permit, contract, or authority. Now, if you're uncertain if someone should be classified as an independent contractor or an employee, you can always reach out to the Workers' Compensation Board for a determination. So I hope you found this tip helpful. If you would like us to help you with your business insurance, feel free to give us a call. Thanks, everybody.